He was out in a parking lot in this kind of not so nice part of town. Rick, founder, and director of Reggie's Friends, a rescue group in Houston, Texas said. Somebody had posted that they'd gone to the gas station and there was this skinny dog. I wanted to pick him up because it wasn't a safe place. When Rick arrived at the gas station she looked for the dog, now named Unkin, but couldn't find him. So she turned to Facebook for help. I put up on the thread, hey guys, can you come out here? I can't find him. I'm going to leave him be for the night because I'm sure he found his safe spot, Rick said. The very next morning, two volunteers returned to the same spot. They started knocking on doors, asking people if they'd seen him, Rick said. But nobody's seen him, nobody's seen him. And then this little healthy female, street dog popped up, we named her Tessa. She's trying to get their attention, and leading them back to this little shack in the back where people have dumped all sorts of garbage, there are car parts, there's food garbage. Ick immediately drove back to the gas station to get Unkin, as well as Tessa. Rick thought that Unkin was just a very skinny, malnourished street dog, and was surprised to learn that the situation was much worse. We get home and he starts coming out of the crate, and we start seeing these massive infected wounds, Rick said. And they're oozing, they're still infected. My husband and I were like, okay, we need to get him straight to the emergency vet. Unkin had more problems than infected wounds, his entire body was covered in huge ticks, and chronic malnourishment had put a strain on his organs. The vet team at Blue Pearl Emergency Pet Hospital was also very concerned about something else. The vet said, this is really bad. This is one of the worst cases I've ever seen. We're really sure that he was a bait dog, Rick said. A bait dog is an animal who is used as a practice target for fighting dogs in training. People encourage fighting dogs to attack the bait dog while making it impossible for the bait dog to fight back. I didn't think he was, a bait dog, she said. That's a term I really try not to throw around because I think a lot of people really overuse that when they get an abused dog. And I was like, oh, you know, he's got the scratches on his face. He's a street dog. Then they opened his mouth and they showed me, literally all his teeth have been pulled out. His canines have been filed down, and it's all systematic of him not being able to fight back. All of these wounds that were oozing, they were oozing because somebody had sewn them up by hand, she said. Then you take into account all the scars on his face, and you start putting it all together, and there's no other answer, this was his life. He was a bait dog. The intent was for him not to live basically, which is horrifying. Unkin stayed at the emergency vet for several days, and one of the nurses decided to do something nice for him and got him a stuffed elephant. Everyone at Blue Pearl loved this dog and everyone was very invested in his well-being, Rick said. And one of the critical care nurses decided that he needed his first lovey, so when she went out to lunch on Sunday, she got it and brought it back to him. I think at first he probably didn't really know what it was. But he started to warm up to it and love it. I'm willing to wager that it was probably the first one he ever had in his life, Rick added. He definitely took some comfort in it, and it was an incredibly amazing gesture for her to bring that for him. When Unkin was stable, he was transferred to a primary vet for additional care and finally, to a foster home, where he'll stay until he's fully recovered. He's very reserved. Rick said. It's going to take some time for him to come out of his shell and understand that there are people who love him and care for him and that we're not going to hurt him. And to know that there's always going to be food and sweaters and stuffies and blankets. This level of abuse is all-encompassing, it's mental, physical and emotional, and it's going to take some time for him to pull out of these things, Rick added. But we feel very lucky that we were put into his path that we were able to do this for him. Unkin is showing signs of improvement in his foster home, Rick explained. 
He's gaining weight slowly and loving life in his foster home, Rick said. He lives with two other dogs and loves it. He also loves sitting on the couch with his foster dad. If you know someone who might like this, please click share.